Hey everybody, it's Seven Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we had a very emotional episode across the board, as as you guys well know. Um, sitting here with Nina and Ray, and I've actually been thinking about it, and it's like this playthrough, this whole Nina and if we're chained, then Ray needs to be in front. Um what was I trying to say? This whole playthrough, I feel like Nina and Ray, this party specifically, has really pulled us through a lock card key. Hey, it looks important. It is. It opens up a lot of stuff. We get a soul gem there. I don't know why you would necessarily want a soul gem at this point in the game, but it's there, so you have it. I don't, we don't use those around here. It's really, it's silly. Freaking Igus, I don't have time for that. I mean, that's really just a waste of my time. So pretty much what the car key does is um, unlocks the rest of the dungeon for us um, as far as this goes. But I think we're getting to a point. I'm just checking for more treasure. I'm sorry. Eh, that was decent experience, so I took it. I took it! But I think we're getting to a point where I want to soonish, maybe not this episode, but next episode, we're going to go back and talk to the last of our masters. I think I need to raise Gar up just a little bit first, because he does have the last one, which just literally that last... I goose. No. Literally the... What am I trying to say? Literally the last master of those kid trios that we haven't got yet literally doesn't even give you a move or anything. It gives you a Cupid's Liar, so I may or may not even complete that. I might just do it for completionist's sake, to have the star next to the master's name. But that's about it, and I feel like with Dias, we should be close to finishing, if not finished with her already, so we'll do that soon. But of course, we have to walk our booties back over, because the game hates us, and we have to walk with our own two legs. I know, disgusting, rude, not nice at all, but here we are. But that's okay, we want to kind of keep our eye out for the Goo King, because if I could get the Goo King sword... That's some straight tea. That'd be sick. If I don't get it, I'm not too pressed. You don't need it to beat the game at all. I guess we should do a little bit of healing since everybody's trying to kick our butts. But yeah, I'm really kind of vibing with this whole Nina. Um, where am I? Do I not have healing herbs here? Yeah, there's, they're there. They're just down here for some reason. That's okay. I've been playing a lot of like Breath of Fire 4 on the side, and that game is so similar because it's the same series. Yeah, this is just an item that we got, but it's also so different <laughs> in just like controls and stuff like that. So I'm kind of forgetting where I am, what which way is up, you know? Like one, for instance, like I almost just ran away at the end of that battle when I was about to kill them because. Um, in Breath of Fire 4, you just hold R1 to charge and escape. In this game, it's just escape. So it's like, T! <laughs> I have an issue remembering it sometimes, but my brain just doesn't work occasionally, so it's fine. I guess I could be using Ryu's um, AP right now to, to heal. I might as well do that. But yeah, we are getting very close to the end of the game. So I want to get the last skills from Ladon. Um, honestly, I probably could have already got them. The biggest thing that Ladon teaches us, I might as well tell you now, is Aura. That same skill that I was using um, as the warrior. So it's like, it's nice because then you don't even really need to turn Ryu into a dragon anymore. But we will go over that later. Obviously, Ray is not like the biggest physical attacker in the world, but I really like his speed. And as the wear tiger, he's not half bad. So I'm heavily considering using him in the final party. And especially because they're already here, like they're already grinded up. And the thing is, is I think my Pico is usually really good because I keep Pico under Bunyan, like the whole game when I play with him, um, just by myself. Because it makes sense, you put Bunyan to the Onion. I mean, you put the Onion to Bunyan, right? Only made sense to me, but uh, he gets crazy powerful if you do it like that. I obviously went for a strategy in this playthrough of trying to get all of the skills and show off all of the masters and stuff. Um, so in doing that, my Pico this playthrough is not as powerful as my Pico usually is. Um, but, you know, that's okay. So oh yeah, I forgot that you get a healing room right here. Your wounds are healed and you feel completely refreshed. Thank you so much. But I also don't want to go to, like, 
Ladon too early. I think we'll still get a couple of levels just kind of running through here, um, being hooligans before the final battle. And I just want to make sure it's done before then. And God, I would hate to backtrack all the way back to Ladon just to find out that I still need more levels and then come all the way. Ugh, no. So that would be what we're trying to avoid here. But either way, I mean, with Ryu and Nina in the party, you almost always should dish out plenty of damage um, to take out anything you want. So we can go in this door now. I'm pretty sure there's some more items around here. I don't remember if this is an item door or... No, I think this is the way forward. So actually, hold up. Hold up, grab the wall, wiggle like you're going to make your ass fall off. We got to go back. But we're getting crazy powerful at this point. I mean, once you get to the f level 40 in this game, you're pretty much chilling for the end of the game. Um, it's not like a Final Fantasy or like a Tales of series. Oh, this is not the way I wanted to go. Um, where you end up th ending the game at like in your 60s. Breath of Fire, I feel like, as a franchise, has always taken longer to level up. Um... So therefore, it makes like the levels almost mean more, which I personally like. Where in like some other series, you just get levels constantly, back to back to back to back to back, you know? This isn't the way I want to go either. Why am I completely turned around? The way I want to go is not even on this floor. It's like down here. I don't, I don't know. Forgive me before I've shamed you. But if you guys weren't used to faffing, by this point, oh, but it's like, it's not that you end up low level at the end of this game because it's a short game, obviously, because like this is the longest standing series on my channel to date right now. Um, and we're still not done. We're close to the end, but we're not done. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. AP 12, Intelligence 8, Nina's a freaking monster as always. Now let's see. Secure level A, please initiate key card check. Yes, yes, yes. There's an item here that I would like to get. Thank you. Yay, the light bangle. I'm pretty sure that's useful. Otherwise, we just wasted our time. But I'm, oh, not what it is. Nope. Pretty sure it's an accessory, if I remember correctly. Yeah, light bangle raises defense versus status changes. Which is just nice. So I'm going to give that to Ryu. Because I don't want him confused or poisoned or any of that crap. I just, I don't want to deal with it. It's not, not the tea for me. So that's why we want to come grab the light bangle. Now we can work our way back upstairs. Oop. Sorry, I skipped through the end of the cutscene there. I didn't mean to do that. But let's go ahead and get a free heal over here while we're here. Get a save on. You should be able to rest here. I'm a rest, bud. And then we can continue on. And one thing that we need to do when we do run back and do like our final backtracking of the game, we'll check on our fairies, which I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty much done with the fairy village at this time. Other than like if you really wanted to do the copy um, factory and really grind that out and get a bunch of those stat boosting items to really make everybody powerful. I mean, you could do that if you felt like it. I don't think it's necessary in this game because you can get so overpowered anyway. But we will definitely need items. That's going to be the biggest thing for us. We need to restock on everything. We have plenty of money. So we just need to do it. <laughs> That's just how it is. But finally, let's go over this way. I already did the ID check. Thank you. Ugh. Really, while being in this... Wow, they gave us a claymore. How useless. Claymores are from, like, the beginning of the game. Um, but yeah. Considering... What was I trying to say there? I don't know what I was trying to say. Hey, I already put in the key card, but whatever. We'll do it again. Initiate the key card. Lit. We're okay. Door lock released. All right. So now we can kind of finally get into the last big portion of this dungeon, which I'm going to tell you, fair warning sucks. Here's a new enemy, again, Miss Man, like we needed new enemies. Let's go ahead and just hit him with a Malinor, just because we can. Just slice him and dice him, because as you can see, physical attacks, not the strongest on him. Not the weakest, Ryu can do some damage. Ray can't. Ray, you're really just here so we can use you for your speed, honestly. 
Thunder Strike. Oh, actually, I think that's something that we can learn. It just murked the shit out of Ray, though. Let's go ahead and heal him, but yeah. Little stuff, like Ammonias. I need more Ammonias, just because I can. Like, why would I not? And then let's give Ray a multivitamin. Multivitamins, I'm sure I can buy them somewhere. This man's armor is cracked, so that's good. They work just like the other guys. The thing is, is I would like to get Ray a little bit more defensive. But I don't know if that will be happening for us. Because it's hard to kind of have, like, chilling with a weaker party member like that physically. But I still think he's just better than Pico in this playthrough. Because of how I built my Pico, unfortunately. Alright, let's check... Wow, nothing. There's a lot of dead ends in here, and I don't remember which ones are dead ends and treasures, so <laughs> that's going to be fun for us. Absolutely. Oh, the Goo King. Goo King, Goo King, Goo King. <sighs> Alright, let's pilfer from him. Let's get some shields up. He's going to try to kill us. That's the T. And then he has Ragnarok, too. That's what's scary. But hopefully we can get an extra turn on him. I will run from this if this starts going south. But we gotta get that apple from him. Yep. And now he's gonna be pissed. And he'll stay in the battle. And he'll go full throttle on us. Which will get us, hopefully, the Goo King Sword. The thing is, is you have to kill him. And... Um... Get lucky enough to get the drop. He's always busting out this Ragnarok, too. And it hurts so hard. Let's see. Yeah! Oh, it straight up murdered Ray, dude. Let's run. The thing is, is I gotta get Ray beefier. I really do. That's okay. We'll get a chance to sleep in a bed again. Especially when we run back and get stuff. So it's not the end of the world for Ray. See, now that I declared that I was going to bring Ray to the final party, I'm not sure if I like that decision. Might be smarter just because Pico's bulkier, but I don't know. I'll look at it. Another new enemy, the Revenant. Honestly, at this point, Ray should probably just be stealing from everybody. I did say we have the advantage, so that's good. Let's get a Sirocco out on it. Can we get anything from you? I think a lot of these things have really nice things to steal, so we might as well be doing it. With Ray, at least. It's not like he's doing damage anyway. All T, no shade. Sorry, Ray. But it's true. Alright. This man is still chilling. We get an extra turn, though, so let's try to steal again. Same thing. Did we get anything? Belladonna. Oh, that's an item that can cast instant death on people, I believe. Not really my thing. It's not reliable. I wonder what the Mist Man drops. He might drop some good armor or something. Who knows? But at this point, let's just kill him. And his armor's cracked. This pilfer might even kill him. That'd be hilarious. I hope it does. Nope, not quite. Couldn't steal anything, right? You suck. No, but honestly, at this point, we should just be stealing from everything. Ray and Ryu are about to get more levels. That's sick. You love to see it. Alright, what's down this way? This is a door. A door? A door. Night bats. I don't think they're really an issue. Well, what did I just say? Might as well steal from everything, right? Worst case scenario, Nina Sirogo should definitely kill them. Pull and steal anything. Mace. That's why you need Nina magic. That's why she's here. She's great for dungeons. Like, amazing. Her AP stat is unchallenged. Goodbye. Lit. Alright, and then up here, if this is the room I believe it is. It is. So this is pretty much a really fun and interesting part of the game. It's a boss gauntlet. But it's all bosses that we've, like, faced before. Like, look, we're about to face three news here. 
from the very beginning of the game. So I'm not going to be posting all the stats of these bosses, because that would make me want to kill myself. But, it's really cool, and they're all just called different samples. It's interesting. Usually they're pretty easy to kill, they give us lots of experience and money and stuff, so that's good. Each of these news have power foods that we can steal from them. Look, Ryu just killed one in one hit. It's kind of cool to see how that works out because of the whole story arc aspect of it. Like, Ryu, this was a boss at the beginning, and now Ryu just killed it in one hit. That's pretty wild. But this also lends to the theory that the Goddess Myria was potentially manufacturing all of these monsters. Um, which would there theorize that she's been our enemy the entire time. All tea, no shade, but yeah. Oh, this one can be kind of hard. Two Mikbas. This one has a ladder. I think that's the way out. I want to make sure that I fight all of these bosses first, though. Because they have lots of good things for me to steal, to take from them. All that good stuff. I guess Ryu, instead of just doing that, you could turn into a dragon. It doesn't cost me nothing, really. Let's show off some other things, like mystery effect, mystery effect, and random. Let's see what happens. Just because I can. Get anything from him? Silver mail. We don't care about that. A lot of bosses have, like, those power-boosting stat items. So that's, ew, pygmy. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. This is a terrible, terrible dragon. Look at him. He's like a little whelp. Worthless. I'll show you. I just wanted to show him off, but don't ever do this if you actually want to kill something. Venom breath. I hate that. Don't be doing that crap to me, sir. Oh, oh they're both doing it. I was like, oh, we're okay. No, that's not the T, because there's more. But wait, there's more. But yeah, Dragon Breath, Snap, Magma Breath. You can try Dragon Breath. It's altered by his HP. But it's just really, it's not that great. Might as well steal stuff from the other guy just because we can. Let's see, that little well. Yeah. Barely 100 damage. Nina's doing more damage than that thing. Another Silver Mail. Don't care about that. Oh my god, Ray, you just got murked. Well, this is going south. <laughs> Ray is so fragile. That's the only issue that I really have with him. Ryu, you can go ahead and restore your form, bud. And then we'll get Ray revived here in a minute. But the thing is, is I love Ray's speed because when he's alive, we go before everything. So I can get healing off. I can do all the things that I need to do, you know? But see, a lucky strike on Ryu doesn't do anything. It killed. He got. He took two of them like it was nothing. But then Ray's over here dying from them. So that's just my only issue with Ray. Now, the thing is, is I'm sure I could have built him to be more bulky or evade a little bit more. Well, and we can look into it before we go into the final battle, too. But I still think it would really behoove us to bring him. Wow, you just reprisaled me? How dare you. Ray, fix yourself up, my dude. Ryu, do you only have steel? Who has super combo right now? Probably Pico, huh? I should put Pico super combo on Ryu, honestly. For right now, he can attack. Just have Nina keep pumping it out. There you go, Ray. All better. Why are these things still alive? Ridiculous. They have a lot more HP than I remember them having. A lot more. See, Ray took that okay, though. So that's why it kind of, it's like, it's weird. But the Lucky Strike took him out. Oh, of course you got poisoned, Ray. Ray, why is this happening to you? Why you got such bad luck, dude? Let's go ahead and use an Antidote. And you can attack and Sirocco. Again, just the same old stuff on this battle. Keeping it simple. I guess I could turn into another dragon with Ryu, but it's really not worth it at this point. These things should be close to dead. Question mark. Maybe I'll turn Ray into a Were Tiger though. That'll probably make this a little bit easier and quicker for us. 
Wow, they're still alive. Nina's been pumping out damage since the beginning. Yeah, let's multivitamin Ryu before I do that. And the next turn, I guess I'll turn him into a freaking Were Tiger. Why not? It'll be fun. What the frick? These things are still alive. I guess I should have taken them seriously and put on an actual dragon. I mean, it's not like they're doing that much damage to us. It's just time consuming. Like, sirs, why? Oh yeah, multi-strike. Here's another chance to learn it. If you still haven't learned it for some reason to this day. Alright, let's get you into the were-tiger. Slash, and then you need to... Influence. And I forget that I have Cure on Nina. I need to be using her as a healer, too, because she can. Lit. We got our little wear tiger back. How are these things still alive? I just don't understand. I don't get how you're alive. There. So Ray's chilling. He's ready to murder. Let's have Ryu attack. Nina, Sirocco again. Until they're dead. I might have to end up speeding this up. This is ridiculous. There we go. I was like, these guys have no business living now I can start using Maliner with uh, Nina too which is way better well actually I need to use influence again that's what's scary here let's have you defend and then you use influence on that guy because until then Ray's going to attack whoever he wants luckily he went for the sample but ugh no, Ray. Doesn't matter now, Nina. <gasps> Shoot. Shiitake mushrooms, Ray. Why you be doing this? Why you be making this level hard for me? Get Ray back up. Sir, you need to die, please. 269? No, that's not bad. Ray, of course you get it. Like, I just... Why are you like this? You've got bad luck on your side, Ray. But at least we can get a heal off. Hell yeah. Nice, Crit Ryu. End it. Thank you. Not even that much experience. That's the worst part. That one just takes forever. Don't worry. It gets worse. <laughs> Power foods. Let's give these to Ray so he has some semblance of actually being able to kill stuff. <laughs> Was that rude? My bad. Alright. Let's run through this boss gauntlet a little bit more. I think up the stairs you can actually get to the end. Or closer to the end. This one's just empty. Sometimes there's just like empty rooms. Or treasures inside those rooms. So it's pretty cool. I thought there was... A door over that way. But I don't think that's the T actually. So then in this room there was a fork. It's a mazy boss gauntlet. See what's in here. Oh, I can't get in that way. I'll have to come in through the other way. But that's fine. We'll check that out later. What's in here? Oh, two of the slugs from the plant. Well, the factory or whatever. Oh, God. They're like on top of Ray. Ew. I don't remember what you can steal from these guys, but I don't think I care. I don't think these guys are that hard either, because once you get some rope on them, they lowers their defense and stuff. Wow, you just missed like that, Ray? What was that? Yeah, we're already doing 208 on them without weakening them. Yay, no protective coating for you. Yeah, they do have Siphon, who cares? 
Pilfer attack, Sirocco. Got anything good for me? Vitamins? We'll take them, dude. That hits everybody, doesn't it? I mean, heals everybody, not hits. That's something I could use in my life. Alright, let's try to get the other one from you. Just keep dishing out damage. These guys probably have more HP than I remember, too. I need to get, like, super combo or something on Ryu so he can deal some serious damage and just doing his regular instead of just doing his regular attacks or dragon all the time because that's just not the T that's not as helpful it just is not out oh, don't be hitting Nina like that and I guess I could use war shot with Nina that might be a good idea let's go ahead and use a vitamin on Nina since we're talking about her might as well Thank you, Ray. Oh yeah, that took him out pretty easy, though. They don't have that much HP. I don't know why I was worried. I just wanted all the battles to go like the new one did. That one was easy. Lit. This should make it easy now. Did you give me- Oh, you were supposed to give me the vitamins, you thing. You rude little sample. Maybe we can get it this time. Do not be hitting Nina like that. That's just rude. Just the rudest, actually. Yes, we got the other vitamins. Thank you, samples. Yay, another level for Ray. We know he needs one defense point. Wow. Thank you, Ray. This takes you up a ladder to... I don't know. I just want to make sure I hit all the rooms. Because I'm pretty sure the close after this is like the end, the end. Oh, it's just the one angle of fish again. That one wasn't too bad. We'll probably do this one and then the end the episode off here, and then we can do the rest of the Scotland in the next episode. Might as well use War Shout. I think that was well. Let's use Cure with Nina because I never do it, but she has it. Fixes everything. It's wonderful. Oh, 138. That's not bad. I forget what this thing has. Oh, it's not carrying anything. Good to know. Venom breath. Rude. You know I hate poison, don't ya? Let's just do the wear tiger thing. That'll make this one go by quicker. Give it all you got, Ray. Even though you do get a little misguided in this form, it's fine. Perfect. And then from here, I guess we'll just have Ryu keep attacking, because I need, still don't have super combo or something, anything like that on him. And we might as well war shout these guys. Boys, get them all powered up. Yeah, because he's already doing 530. See, the thing is, is when Ray is Were Tiger, he can do a solid, like, 500 damage all the time. So that's reliable, but then you can't switch him out of the Were Tiger form in mid battle, so you have to make sure you do it at the right time. Um, because then obviously you have to have Nina use influence too, otherwise he's pretty much confused. He'll attack anybody, he has no friendships, no, no ties to anybody at that point. So you just gotta make sure you use it correctly. But it's a good strat with Ray, and then you get to still benefit from his speed and stuff. So I lock it. Uh huh. Well, that only did 119 to him. I guess he is probably Thunder Elemental. Let's see what a little Mind Sword could do instead. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> We just gotta quit crit for like 1300. It happens. My bad. 
Anyways, we will end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Breath of Fire 3. In the next episode, we will finish the boss gauntlet, and then we're getting really close. I know I keep saying it, but we're getting really close to the end, so the finale could be in any of the next upcoming parts. So we'll bust through that and do that together here in the next episode. Make sure to smash that like button, show your support for the series. I always appreciate all you guys' support. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next episode.